Oh, and by the way, this little $10 bag that I got, $10, probably has close to a hundred, maybe $150 or more possibly. I don't know, I'll we'll have to see what all we have in here of resale items and just parts and pieces. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. And guess what I'm doing right now? I'm on my way back to the estate sale. So something kind of dawned on me yesterday. I came home after I went and picked up my stuff, was reviewing some of the video footage, and I was like, you know, they got a lot of these broken GI Joes that only need an O-ring, and they're selling them for like 10 bucks. Why didn't I pick those up, especially that Storm Shadow? So I'm actually on my way back to the estate sale to see if some of those broken Joes are still still there and maybe I can scoop them up pretty cheap and get them fixed up. So I don't know. I mean, we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray, 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 pray that those estate sale gods are good to me today and that those broken Joes are still there. And here's the best part. If they are today at the estate sale, everything is 25% off. How about that? All right, so let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. Ah. All right, they open at nine o'clock. It is nine o'clock on the nose. Um, not as many cars here today as there were yesterday. This entire street was just packed. So, all right, let's head in here. Like I said, keep our fingers crossed. Pray that the estate sale gods are good to me today and we can get some busted up Joes or maybe even find some other stuff that maybe we didn't see yesterday that we can bring home to mama. Well, not really bring home to mama, bring home to me. <laughs> All right, let's see what they got. Might pick him up. Show her what chair you're talking about. It's your prize. Oh, yeah, no problem. Is this price on here for the box? No, okay. Uh, we'll get it all out of there for you. I was going to say, I've read the money. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's, I'm sorry, I didn't. <laughs> What's the number? 
Where's your, where's your bin? We're in McKinney. Oh, in McKinney, you just said that. Yeah. We have the big mall, the only mall down there left. On okay, perfect. Uh, we should be good. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that was a success. So uh, we'll go home and we'll do a little show and tell with what I picked up. So I got this bag, right? And uh, I got some other things that I shoved in the bag. Uh, for example, I got the snowmobile, I got the Cobra Trouble Bubble. But the interesting thing was, while I was in there, I heard the guy who was heading up the estate sale talking to a gentleman behind me. And he said, yeah, I had some guys, he goes, I'm not a toy guy. And I had some guys coming in here yesterday that were looking at this GI Joe or this Star Wars guy and was like, well, he's missing his accessories. He's missing his guns or his missiles or his weapons pack. And he was like, oh, he goes, I found all that stuff and I shoved it in a big bag and sold the whole bag for like 10 bucks. And uh, he's like, but, those little things would have made the toy much more valuable. So I heard him say that and I saw some of these bags sitting around and I noticed that a part of the trouble bubble was in one of these bags. I noticed that uh, a part of Snowjob's snowmobile was in one of these bags separate from the item being sold. Um, where did I park my car? Oh, I'm down here, <laughs> separate from the item being sold. So um, I ended up taking them out of the bag and just putting it with what it, where it belongs. So I went up and I said, hey, this piece right here is uh, actually goes to this vehicle. And they were like, okay, cool. So I ended up finding missing pieces. So I had initially a lot of, not a lot, but I had some missing pieces with these items and uh, I was able to reconnect them. So a little scavenger hunt at the estate sale. How cool was that? All right, well, let's go home and do a little show and tell. Oh, and by the way, this little $10 bag that I got, $10, probably has close to a hundred, maybe $150 or more possibly. I don't know, we'll have to see what all we have in here of resale items and just parts and pieces. For example, they have, has Ace McLeod's helmet which I saw selling for 25 bucks on eBay. It also has his jetpack in here, which I'm gonna keep because I recently just acquired an Ace McLeod that does not have a jetpack. So that will add to the value of my toy. But it's got a Trap Jaws ring in here. So there's some cool stuff in here besides, uh, uh, you know, just some of the missing pieces uh, to the vehicles and whatnot. So, all right, well, let's head home. All right, guys, we're back at the bunker. It's time to do a little show and tell and investigate that accessories bag that I got for 10 bucks. All right, guys, so this is my haul from day two of the estate sale. And one of the reasons why I got this bag is because it actually had some accessories in it that belong to some pieces that I have that don't have those accessories. Like for example, this Ace McLeod that I recently acquired from my friend Teresa, who's also a thrifter. This Tauntaun I had picked up at Thrift Giant uh, last year sometime, but he doesn't have a saddle. And then Stratos over here. Now these items here, I actually picked up at the estate sale minus Snow Job. This is actually from my good friend, Franco Blondie, who has a YouTube channel as well. If you haven't subscribed to Franco, 
go over there, subscribe to his channel. He has some awesome content and uh, leave a comment on his last video. It says Burf sent me, but uh, snow job I already had, but I didn't have his snowmobile. So I picked up the snowmobile, but it was missing some pieces. The same thing here with the trouble bubble. It was also missing some pieces. It's missing quite a few pieces actually, but some of that stuff is here in the bag. So I'm gonna kind of just gently move these guys back a little bit off to the side here and let's look through the bag. So we got this uh, Tony the Tiger Frisbee Freestyle. This came in uh, the Frosted Flakes cereal box when you were a kid, back when they actually used to put toys in cereal. I wish they would go back to doing that. I, I really miss that. Because as a, as a big kid, I still eat Fruity Pebbles and Cocoa Puffs and Fruit Loops and stuff like that. So it'd be fun to get some toys in there. Um, I don't know what this particular piece goes to. Um, maybe you guys know, maybe you can help me out with that. So we've got this right here. And then this is actually a piece to the Trouble Bubble. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put that on. So you can see it's got this, um, see this little hole right here? So it's got this little peg in the back. And from my understanding, this is like, uh, it's like actually like a bomb. So we can insert that right there and then close the lid. And now we've got a trouble bubble that's ready to detonate. A kamikaze trouble bubble. So how cool is that? Of course, it's missing quite a few other pieces, but I think I might be able to find those on eBay and get this thing back together or just keep my eyes open in the thrift stores and estate sales. You never know what you're going to find. So put this off to the side. We also got this little plastic jet. This was probably also, uh, you know, a type of uh, toy that you'd maybe get in a grocery store when you're a kid. Ah, the saddle. For the tauntaun so let's grab the tauntaun here we'll take our boy luke out let's put the saddle on i noticed uh, that the bottom piece one of the one of the latches is broken here but that's okay we can still get this put on and make it fit pull that tight a little bit there we go and then we'll put our boy Luke down in there. Oops, let's get him there. There we go. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Now we've got a Tauntaun with the saddle. The only thing he's miss missing is his harness. Those are hard to find, by the way. The harnesses, uh, a lot of times they break or snap off, so it's hard to find a complete one. But yeah, so we've got the Tauntaun, he's got a saddle. Put them off to the side over here. Uh, I don't know what this thing is. Let's see, what's it say here in the bottom? Oh, it's some sort of Star Wars thing. It says Lucas Films. So it's some sort of Star Wars weapon. Let's go ahead and see if we can snap this together. Uh, there we go. And then it maybe sits down there like that. Oh yeah, it's some some sort of vehicle. Maybe you guys can help me out. It's from, uh, does it say 19, look, I think it's 1983. Yeah, it's from 1983. So if you guys can tell me what this actually goes to, what, uh, what you know, if it's part of a, a bigger vehicle or something like that, I would appreciate it. So we got that. And then we got this thing, which I have no idea what this is. Ah. Ace McLeod's jetpack. So I've got Mr. McLeod over here. So we're gonna go ahead and insert this in. It's actually kind of loose. Doesn't seem to fit in too tight. And I might even have that upside down. Yeah, I think I've got that upside down, don't I? Yeah, so. But anyway, we've got his jet, whoa, <laughs> his helmet came off. We've got his jet pack. All right, give me just a second here. And we'll just stand him up in the back, maybe. 
Voila! Okay, so we got Ace McCloud. We've got this Spider-Man thing from 1979. I believe this is the satellite dish that goes to the Millennium Falcon. So some of these items that are in here are actually gonna be worth quite a bit of money just by themselves. For example, Ace McCloud's helmet. I saw this thing recently sold on eBay for like 25 bucks. Just the helmet alone. So how cool is that? So we got that. And what else we got in here? We got some sort of some sort of helmet. A dinosaur mold. I'm not exactly sure what this goes to. Uh, not sure what this goes to either. A lot of the stuff I don't know, and I'm probably not going to know <laughs> unless you guys happen to know and can help me out by leaving a comment below. And uh, I'm not sure what this is either. It's, uh, I think it goes on to this thing here, I think. It looks like some sort of barrel or bucket. It's got like, uh, like a little control panel right here. So I'm not exactly sure. Let's just dump the rest of this out real quick. Oh, I thought this was cool. Uh, real quick before I show you that, uh, we've got the chessboard to the, to the Millennium Falcon. So that's another piece that, see people are gonna be looking for stuff like this to complete their Falcons. And as a matter of fact, there was a Falcon at this estate sale and I don't know if it actually had the chessboard in it. This is probably the chessboard that went to it and they ended up shoving it in this bag. Oh, this right here, uh, this goes to the snowmobile. So let's grab Snowjob snowmobile. And this was the piece I noticed was missing from it. And I spotted it in the bag and I was like, oh, that's awesome. So we were able to reunite those. And then Stratos over here, I actually found his wings. Those were in the bag as well. And my Stratos did not have his wings. So let me see if I got this on the right arm. Nope, got it on the wrong arm. All right, so let's go ahead and snap him into place here. These things are always a little tricky. You want to be careful because you don't want to, you don't want to break them. All right, I think that's popping through. And then we can put that back on his wrist. So we got one down. Let's do his other wing, his other arm. Here, I've got to move that up his arm just a little bit. There we go. Check it out. Our boy Stratos now has his wings. You can fly again, my man. You can fly again. Be free. Free like an eagle. I think that's um, I think that's the correct way those wings go on. I'll have to double check that. But uh, if I if I put them on upside down, let me know in the comments, bro. You put them on upside. I think I did. I think I might have put them on upside down. I think I did. Anyway, we'll get back to it later. But one of the things that I really liked, and uh, by the way, here's a little hacky sack, an old fashioned hacky sack. And I don't know what this goes to, but this thing right here, this is like a mini mad ball. How cool is that thing? Oh my gosh. Like I actually have a bigger mad ball. Let me grab it for you real quick. So this is my other mad ball. I actually found this at Goodwill. I think it was earlier this year sometime. And then we got this little mini mad ball. So there was lots of cool stuff in here. And uh, let's see what else. Anything that we missed. Oh, and I almost forgot. We've got Trap Jaws Ring as well for vintage Masters of the Universe. And we also have this little windshield. And now that I'm looking at this, this thing looks really familiar. If you recall from the last video, there was a mask 
vehicle there, the Vampire. It was a red motorcycle. I think this is the windshield to it because that vehicle, I don't think it had a windshield. I'm almost certain that this goes to that. If that's the case, the only, well, the only reason I didn't get that motorcycle was because it was missing the windshield. If this is the windshield to it, yeah, we need to make a trip back there and see what the deal is. Uh, because if, because they, I think they only wanted five dollars for the vehicle, and that was without the windshield. So yeah, we we have to go back. We got to go back and and see uh, see if it's still there. Because I'll buy it up in a heartbeat if it is. All right, guys, we're on a brand new mission. I'm gonna get the girls. We're gonna head back to the estate sale. Probably be leaving here in a few hours because um, we got some stuff we got to do around the house here today. But. Uh, we're gonna see if this windshield actually matches up with the mask vehicle. All right, man, this is exciting. This is exciting. The adventure continues. We'll see you there. As you guys know, I hit up an estate sale this weekend and I bought a bag of accessories for like 10 bucks. And when I was going through that bag, I found <laughs> this little- the missing link. Yeah, I found this little windshield. And I think this windshield actually goes to the vampire mask motorcycle, which I saw it in there and it didn't have a windshield. And when I saw this, I was like, hey, I think that goes to the vampire. I might be wrong, but. So we journeyed all the way here and yeah, might be wrong. <laughs> well, let's go oh, see. Well, you better get in there. I know, I know. Be buying it I right know. now. Right. Go, go, go. Right. go. Oh all right, fingers We're crossed. Resell God, be good to me today. Oh my God, those girls are crazy. <laughs> oh man, you gotta love them. Well, hopefully, hopefully we'll score in here. Oh man, I almost missed it. I almost missed it. I was like looking all over. It's right here. All right, I think it goes right there. Looky, looky. That is a beautiful thing. All right, you know, and the best part is I got it 25% off, so I only had to spend $3.75 to get it. That is cool. I actually have Vampire at the, uh, I have the, uh, the mask figure that goes with this at the house already. He's the only mask figure I have that didn't have his vehicle. So now he's got his vehicle. How awesome is that? I'll show the girls, see what they think. All right, ladies. What's up? How'd you do? I oh. done good. It did. It did? It was the actual oh, windshield. Cool. How cool was that? Yeah. I think anniversary yeah, it's our anniversary weekend. <laughs> I, um, the only mask figure I have at the house that doesn't have his vehicle is the guy that goes to this vehicle. So, Excellent. yeah, this is fun. Yeah, right. So, all right. So, we're gonna go get something to eat. This is a, a short one, but a good one. So, hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as we're enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, <laughs> smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel if you like this content because I got a lot more coming your way. Also. One last thing, one last thing. Check out this next video. I know you're gonna love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>